Hits and Crits. What's up, everybody? Welcome to something completely different on this channel. Don't worry, we're still in the realms of our favorite tabletop board game, uh, Song of Ice and Fire. But today, you witness our first painting showcase video. I'm Rusty McLean, and I'm joined by none other than the infamous Kiste, aka Max. Max, great to have you. Thanks for having me. It's an honor to be here. Yeah, great. Uh, today we're going to take a close look at Max's amazingly painted Greyjoy army from A Song of Ice and Fire by uh, Cool Mini or Not. Uh, and this is our very first army showcase video. I'm super excited. Max, what did you bring? Yeah, I brought my whole, uh, yeah, you could say grimdark, realistic Greyjoy army with all the units available so far, save for the newest one, which I'm currently working on. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing that, but today we're going to see the rest and, and it's huge and you have everything Greyjoy painted except for the new unit coming out and we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, so let's jump right into the salt water sprayed stony shores here and we'll chat about you as a painter uh, and also this amazing army of yours. Um, okay, so here we have a first look at this huge army. And I really, really like your style. Um, we've talked about it before, uh, and you you call it uh, a grim, dark, uh, grimy uh, style. It's very realistic, and uh, the minis just look great on these trays and on the tabletop. Um, Max, can you tell us a little bit about you as a player? So how did you get into a tabletop game? I'm curious. Yeah, um, I started uh, tabletop like I think many others with the Lord of the Rings book, uh, um, little booklets that came with miniatures in 2004. Now I feel old. Uh, but uh, yeah, and from there on, I played a lot of different tabletop games. And yeah, but uh, currently, one of my most favorite and my main system, you could say, is Song of Ice and Fire. Awesome. I'm glad to hear it and glad we have you in the community here uh, to paint these awesome models. Um, so uh, how about you as a painter? Um, what is what is like what is your experience with painting? Did it come naturally to you or did you work a lot on it and, and, and practice? What's the story? Yeah, I would say I've got uh, some years of experience in painting because I started with only painting in our small town didn't have uh, other players and uh, there i come from a rather clean style with infinity mostly and yeah. uh, but over the last years i discovered the grimdark style so uh, called that you can see on different youtube channels and stuff like that and was really excited about this because it can achieve quite awesome res results i think in less time and i really fell in love with the look it's amazing. So that's my go-to uh, method at the moment yeah. to get my armies painted fast Good and in a way I you. like. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, let's let's look at a few uh, units. We're going to go through all of these units and you know talk over them a little bit, uh, uh, like you know about you, but also talk about them. Um, so let's look at the reavers um, that you've painted. These look awesome, and um, there's a few things that that. Uh, you know, you realize uh, immediately is this uh, grimdark style, and um, these these minis have have so much character. They're uh, grimy. They're they're gritty. Uh, the weapons, the clothes, everything is is realistic and looks used, and that's super amazing. Uh, what was yeah. your like general? take when you started so how did you choose kind of which color scheme to use what was the thought process yeah i um thought about yeah because i love this realistic grim style so i thought about how to use it on this army and if yeah it really fits the character and the lore of these guys so it was really easy to uh, bring it to this army and uh, i was like looking for some colors I liked and uh, kind of mixed them so 
not everyone looks the same, which I think is important for armies like this. They are not a consistent army like uh, others, like Lannister, for example. But um, still, you have to use some colors in almost every model or unit to make them look uh, still look like an army and not like mm -hmm. a colorful bunch of dudes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> true. Yeah, that's interesting because the Lannisters, you know, they would be an army that is, uh, you know, f uh, fit fit to to march. You know, they they get all their uh, cloaks. Uh, they have the yeah. money to 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 have everybody in a uniform, kind of. But the Greyjoys, yeah. kind of, you know, everybody has a cloak. You know, bring your cloak, <laughs> bring your weapon yeah. from home, and then let's jump bring on the boat and then yeah, <laughs> and go, go raiding. Let's yeah. kill kill some people. Okay, uh, yeah. so yeah, that that totally fits here. Um. All right, so those are the Reavers. Uh, next up are the Bowmen that we're going to look up here. And we can see that this yeah. uh, style that you have and, and this grim dark style uh, is consistent throughout the army. Um, yeah. And I, I, uh, yeah, I really like the Bowmen um, as a unit. They have some, some nice uh, um, models here and there. some of the uh, models are more dynamic than others. Some are a bit static for my taste, but in general, I really like them. Um, and I think you did an amazing job. And again, your your um, technique of of painting and this grimdark uh, stuff works really well with uh, like the quivers, the leather. You know, the leather comes out real realistic. Realistic, um, and yeah, it's just great. Yeah, yeah that's uh, because I try to give the um, leather and stuff like this a bit of uh, structure. Mm -hmm. with uh, underpainting so uh, that's also consistent throughout the army i use the same techniques same colors and one unifying oil wash uh, for at the same for all models so uh, they are don't have all the same colors don't look like a bought army or paid army but still look consistent okay awesome um next up would be the harlow reapers here and so you mentioned yeah. uh, that your technique here uh, in, in this army is uh, speed painting with oil washes. Can you just real briefly uh, uh, explain, you know, what that is? How do you start and when, when does that uh, wash come in? Yeah, gladly. Um, I uh, start with basic like slap job, something like this. Um, you could... Uh, underpainting you could call it then i paint the models with speed paints inks stuff like this so so far it's just normal speed painting and then i add an oil wash to get that grimy look uh, unify all the colors it tones them down a bit brings them together and then i add details like the weathering stuff like this so there are a few extra steps to the speed painting part which still uh, makes it fast, but uh, the result is, I think, uh, is more my uh, taste. Yeah, uh, it looks awesome. The Hollow, Hollow Reapers, uh, they're one of my favorites in, in your yeah. army, for sure. Yeah. Uh, they have these huge weapons oh, cool. and they lend themselves, you know, you can, you can still see the metal shine in there, but they're also the rust effects and, and they're, they look really used. Uh, yeah. Also, yeah, the also cloaks. Modeled used uh, the the weapons have uh, little nukes and stuff like this so it really fits them uh, with the scalps also yeah and very dynamic with the cloaks and stuff and your cloaks are amazing not just because of the color and and how they blend um but also uh of course the weathering there and the dirt right uh, looks awesome they yeah. they've, they've just they they jumped off the boat the cloaks yeah. are, are salt water wet and then they get dragged through the mud and the swamp and yeah. and they're used from fighting and spending a few days in the swamp this reminds me of uh you know of the books where um yeah. the gray joys fight at uh, you know in the in the neck in the swamps at the neck Mote and Kalen. and moat kaylin exactly all yeah. oh, those poor gray joys they're in for a bad time <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> watch wasn't those. their best moment. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Watch those Krenog men poisons. Uh, okay, yeah. uh, awesome unit. And um, okay, let's look at the next one. So some heroes now. Yeah. Uh, these are the oh, heroes yeah. from the starter box. Uh, can you tell us a little bit yeah. about those? those wh which ones were interesting, maybe challenging? 
Yeah. Oh man, Victorian. It's like this model is one of my favorite models. He's mm -hmm. so awesome, and I have to say he was the reason I even started this game because I read the books and I loved the description of him: the mm -hmm. helmet, the cloak, his huge axe, the way he fights, and uh, stuff like this. And I was just, oh man, this game looks awesome. But yeah, they don't have great choice yet. That was kind of <laughs> like I uh, talked myself out of starting another war game. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, then they released Greyjoys. They looked awesome. Victorian was in the box. Uh, uh, yeah. What could I do? <laughs> no excuses. You have to no. buy it. You have to buy all yeah, of them. Yeah, so uh, the ones from the starter box, except for Asha, which has a better sculpt now. Mm -hmm. uh, some of my favorite uh, sculpts uh, from the heroes, they... Yeah, and I use them a lot. Okay, awesome. Yeah, they all look great. Um, let's look at uh, my favorite Greyjoy unit, uh, just because they're super strong. The Silence Man. Yeah. yeah. Maybe not because of the sculpts that much, but uh, they're really good uh, rules-wise. Um, ah, I still like the sculpts. Though. Yeah, you do. I, I think... I think yeah, I think they look very samey, but you did a yeah, great job yeah. of uh, getting them to look different. Because because when you look at them unpainted, they they look like the same guy. I mean, it's the mask, of yeah, course, yeah. right? There's no True. you know no different yeah. beards or facial yeah. hair or, or or hair or hair yeah. colors that you can use. So so it's a bit difficult, but you did a stellar job here. Uh, you have different colors for the pants uh, between them. You have and of course yeah. the cloak makes up a huge part of the model, right? What was your yeah, that's what I uh, what I said before we, with uh, interchanging the colors, but still using the same colors to make them look consistent, but make them look like a different uh, guys still. So um, yeah, that was sometimes really hard, even, especially with this unit, because they, you, like you said, the same cloak, same masks, same weapons, not much different poses, especially. Um, yeah, but this is uh, what I uh, tried and what actually what worked, <laughs> as you said. Uh, so to make them look different but still consistent mm -hmm. it was really important for me because I uh, yeah come from systems with a lot of different poses. The same poses are sometimes uh, or were something that really uh, that I had a problem with uh, at the beginning. But now with different positioning, sometimes weapon swaps uh, and the painting, I am really uh, happy with the result. Just... Great. How did you, so, so what did you do to, to get the different colors? Is it, 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 to me, it looks like, and I'm, I'm not as good a painter as you, I think. So uh, I'm just guessing, but it looks like you took a, a base color of a, like a greenish color uh, uh, and then mixed other colors into it. Um, well, I uh, yeah the the green teal color, uh, which is the main color I use uh, and try to bring into every unit. Um, it's really one of the hardest parts because I started by mixing a lot, uh, like four different colors in different ratios, and. Uh, yeah, I didn't write the recipe down at the beginning and was that was a frustrating part to find it again but now i have written everything down and uh, can use it again and but the other colors are not mixed with that Be, uh, the, those are different colors but the oil wash in the end brings them together it is like a filter you put over all those colors and makes them look like they belong together somehow okay. so it's not in the beginning of the process but um in the later steps that the uh, miniatures get yeah drawn together okay looks awesome um okay so let's move on to the next unit the iron makers oh yeah one uh, also awesome unit i like to play them um i really like the sculpts uh, also with the same weapons but uh, i think here with the different helmets different Four and stuff like this, uh, they look more different than the silenced men, and uh, yeah, I really like them. Mm -hmm. Also, as you can see on those cloaks, um, yeah, I try to um, 
use the mud to bring the miniatures into the environment to so it's the same paste i use on the bases i just uh it was in the beginning it was almost by accident <laughs> to use it on the um, boots and then on the cloaks mm -hmm. and it happened to look uh, good <laughs> and bring them into this muddy setting yeah absolutely uh also, the bases, you, you change them up a little bit here with the Silence Man and the Iron Makers, I think, because uh, you have the that uh, texture pace on there. But I think, the, the, at least with the Silence Man, there was also some, uh, like, cobblestone or something, it looked like. You used yeah, those for some was, of the trays. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was in the beginning when I only had the starter box. I uh, painted, uh, I didn't use it because I didn't have it at that time. And when I bought more units, I uh, happened to get this uh, rolling pin with the cobblestone structure. And then I thought, yeah, why not? The bases look too, yeah, all the same if I do the whole army with this. And so I could bring some a little bit difference in. And also, it's really annoying to smear the whole tray with the paste. <laughs> so yeah. the cobblestones come as a. <laughs> A uh, fast painted uh, thing that, yeah, just mixes up the bases a little. And yeah, mm -hmm. I started after the um, unit from the starter box to add this to some trays. Yeah, I think it works works well. Like if you have them close, then then you can see the differences there. Let's look at uh, more heroes. Hero box one. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, also fantastic scouts. Really, mm -hmm. real joy to work on. Uh, especially he newt the barber i really like his miniature um also yeah carl euron euron is just with that cloak yeah. was a chance to uh, use even more mud <laughs> more mud <laughs> yeah we need more, more mud more extra base <laughs> yeah. yeah um yeah and it brought a uh, really cool changes to the play style where i could try different commanders i still mm -hmm. um like to try out most of them yeah yeah awesome um okay and i also uh, like that uh it's eric sitting there right um yeah <laughs> that eric iron maker has a different kind of cloak right it's a bit a bit of reddish yeah. Uh, yeah so it's a completely different color but because of the oil wash it it is tied together right he he looks like he yeah. belongs with these other units although they all have some kind of teal uh and he doesn't yeah. uh but it's still a one army uh so that that really works and shows shows as you yeah. explained how how well this oil wash just works um okay yeah. newt looks so badass <laughs> yeah and he has this pale skin he's like yeah come on yeah I'll cut some head off uh okay <laughs> Uh, let's look at the Black Tide Chosen. This is one uh, another of my favorite uh, Greyjoy uh, units. Yeah. When, so, got, when they came out, I was like, oh my god, shields. I, can, uh, I love painting sh shields like this yeah. with different um, patterns. I have a huge uh, Saga Viking army uh, where I painted every shield freehand and stuff like this. And so it was... It's something I really like to do, and here I could finally put some patterns on these shields, uh, like you can see the waves or just quartered things like that. I took a lot from the artwork. Um, yeah, I really like the unit. I think they're in a good spot now, like mm -hmm. almost every unit <laughs> in Greyjoy's, and uh, I, I, yeah, I'm happy that I can bring them on them on the yeah. table because they look just fantastic. Look at the mud caked cloaks here awesome and yeah. again here also looks like you painted them a little later or obviously painted them later than the starter box because these cloaks also have some reddish tones in them uh which yeah. which still really wo works really well um with the with the wash yeah i even um, added some uh, purple um clothes later um with a little bit of uh yeah same undertone bluish into them so it still looks uh, consistent yeah just to mix Great. things up a bit okay and now we have three units of drowned men i'll click through them yeah. uh quickly uh really cool did you glue the bases onto the um tray yeah 
Yeah, yeah I, I uh, sealed the uh, gaps and uh, just based over everything yeah. because I think they'll never become a, a cavalry attachment or something like this. Oh, nice. <laughs> so uh, I thought it might be okay to just yeah. include them there and so I'm more free with the basing. Yeah, and and you uh, did some changes here on the on the bases, so each of them uh, has a slightly different uh, base. Yeah. Or, you know, you have this wooden yeah. stuff has, shield. This was a cobblestone yeah. and a tree, and yeah. another one has a stone. Really cool. Yeah, it's uh, like what I used on the other bases. You can see it better on those because they there's more space. Um, I added like the uh, wooden fences and. Um, <laughs> like broken down wooden fences and some like you can see here yeah and some um yeah stones things like that on almost every base but here you can really differentiate it better yeah looks awesome heroes box two yeah another really awesome box i think because yeah i just like dagmar mokoro is uh really cool because it he was so much different than the other characters mm -hmm. uh, also different to paint i used different colors because yeah just i thought it wouldn't fit him and but i still think he somehow doesn't look that much out of place inside the army but even then it's okay fluff wise he should look out of place absolutely <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, they, they fished him out of Dagmar. the sea right and, and yeah, yeah yeah and, and he healed healed victorian yeah. yeah. Also, I, skin... I really love it that they bring these uh, these characters into the game, which you only know from some book passages. But mm -hmm. still, uh, that's a thing I really like. Yeah, absolutely. And we're waiting for uh, the next book to come out to see see what happens yeah. to to Victorian, <laughs> Crew, and Mokoro, and so on. Um, yeah. Look at the staff. That the staff is amazing with that oil wash. It yeah. looks uh, super realistic, and you have some uh oxidized stuff on there yeah um yeah let's, the, let's the look. Trigus effect i used on uh, almost uh, every base uh, tray uh, with the nameplates also mm -hmm. and it's yeah from two parts like uh, first an oil uh, paint uh, and then the brighter parts are made with a Rodriguez effect from vallejo um, which i think really pops it's not that as dark as the rest but it's uh gives them a little brighter uh things mm -hmm. sounds good uh then then let's look at the those name plates i mean obviously people will be yeah. asking about those uh, let's look at the trappers uh i yeah. also really like those the, the fishnets uh yeah. amazing these yeah. serrated uh spears you know yeah you know look at those these are going to kill you either yeah. way like as soon as they yeah. they uh injure you you're going yeah. to either die from bleeding out or you're going to die from infection <laughs> so, uh, so. yeah I will, uh, yeah they're also dirty rusty and with the hooks on it, them i don't think this will uh, end up well no not really <laughs> yeah it's that unit it's because it's something different to the other ones with the fisher nets like you said it it was also really fun to paint i really like their look and yeah the yeah the nameplates um mm -hmm. are a thing i really get asked about a lot and uh, they are from a british uh, company named versatile terrain where i order them yeah uh, in the meantime you in the last years uh, you can find them on different spots too but i think they were one of the first to produce them and i really like the quality um still buy there because I always did and <laughs> will continue to do so. Loyal customer. And yeah, <laughs> and uh, it's uh, they really give me a chance to use this uh, Rodriguez you talked about to make them really, uh, yeah, uh, make the unit shine and also with that dirty look, everyone and uh, every not everyone does recognize every unit, so you can read it. <laughs> awesome. Uh, let's look at the attachments here. So I yeah. see a Drowned Prophet, uh, Reaver yeah. Captains, and those Drowned Prophets yeah. with the long cloaks. You really got to work on those, yeah. right? That must have been fun. <laughs> yeah, I really liked it. They were really fast because it's 
almost just this one color, uh, uh, which covers the whole model. It was uh, really fun, but the uh, result I think is I like to really like the scouts. We don't mm -hmm. have that much attachments, but I think they all look cool. Sad thing I, about the Sunset Sea Brave, <laughs> which uh, looks really cool with that torch of his. Um, is that I don't really know how or when to play him, mm. but I would so much love to put him into every unit because of the look. <laughs> yeah, just prop, just put him there. Nobody will notice. Yeah, I just think he's one of the uh, one of the yeah. stony shore pillagers. And you know, yeah, this is just already... some dude, dude with a torch. Yeah, it's just a guy with a torch. No, don't, just ignore the guy with the torch. Never yeah. mind. Just Nothing for the looks. Here. In for the looks. And <laughs> yeah, nobody would mind. I mean. If I played yeah. against your uh, army, we haven't yet, but but maybe someday. Yeah. Um, I know that I would be distracted uh, by a lot of those uh, minis. Let's look at them now. And here are the Stony Shore Pillagers. Uh, this is absolutely my absolutely, absolutely, completely favorite unit in your army. These have so much yeah. character. OSL, amazing. Tell me about it, please. Yeah, it's one of my favorite units too. As I, I saw the skulls and I saw all those torches and I really like painting OSL. It fits the uh, Grimdark style very well because it gives a, like a contrast. And you can, if your miniatures are dark, uh, darkly painted, you can really make OSL a pop even more. So I really love to do this. And I was like seeing them and Oh my god, unit with torches, I'm in, I'm sold. Give them to me more. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, I think they have really cool scouts with a lot of character. I uh, interchanged some weapons here for the, I think, for the first time in my Great Joy Army where I did weapon swaps because I uh, thought they look too uh, characterful, everyone to have them all carry the same weapon in the same pose but uh, these were really uh, small uh, changes that were easily done and i think they make them look even more like that ragtag ba uh, band of pillagers who just grab what they f find and yeah light their torches and go off to pillage awesome these look so great. You even have the OSL on the cobblestone there. When it when it turns around again, we yeah. can see it. Uh, um, there, you can see this guy from the back. It's just amazing. How did which weapons yeah. did you swap though? Um, the, oh, that's a good question. Uh, the spear, weapons? yeah, mm -hmm. it's and the spear is uh, one who holds it upright. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I think that's not the original pose. Mm -hmm and yeah like, like the axes and hook weapons i swapped sometimes and even some of the torches like the one with the uh, the bald one uh, who in the front who has the torch um i think that's not the original weapon he has i think it's the hook like the one who comes in front now mm -hmm. yeah i gave the the other one now to the left uh, he has a torch instead Okay, great. And so, you cut off the the arms at the yeah. at the glove, at, probably at the wrist or at the wrist. Okay. Yeah, okay. and then I, with this material, you mostly have to um, put in a little. How do you call it? Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, like a pin, like a pin or an, uh, yeah, a, a uh, wire pinning, or something. Of yeah, them. yeah, mm -hmm. wire. Uh, I pinned pinned them because cool. uh, the material is not uh, that good to just glue right. yeah but yeah. In, it's small changes looks amazing okay i think we're through with your army unfortunately uh max this was so much fun talking about this i could talk about your army and and what you've done with it and look at it for days uh and i'd really like Me to too, see it uh, yeah i hope so <laughs> Uh, you can be really proud of it. Um, and the interesting thing is, though, uh, it is still a slap chop plus a wash, right? Uh, so so yeah. it was relatively yeah. quick. And these effects, yeah. except for the OSL, that's a bit more work. Uh, but yeah, but yeah, other works. than that, yeah, it, it's it's really uh, easily, um, uh, not easily, but, but quickly. It can be quickly achieved. And we have a little surprise for our viewers there. Why don't you tell them what's next? 
yeah, um, we uh, took a few videos uh, while I painted, and um, we will show you my method um, in one of the next videos. Yeah, so and we're going hope, to see. Uh, yeah, one I one hope, unit, uh, right? Uh, yeah, uh, it's with one unit as an example, and um, yeah, I hope because I think uh, some people are interested in how this works. Um, so yeah, we show you. All right, thank you so much for being here for showing us around, uh, and I'm really looking forward to this painting tutorial that's going to come up in one of the next videos here. Um, so there's nothing left to say, but stay tuned and. Until we meet again, roll, roll those, those crits. crits. Come for the hits and stay for the crits.